Hi, welcome to the Java tutorial. Um, today, today I'm going to talk about Java Abstract class. Um, I've already um, defined a class, an abstract class named Guitar, um, and I'm going to go ahead and um, explain what abstract class with this with this already defined class that I have. Um, this is the keyword that indicates that whatever class we are defining is going to be an abstract class. Um, what we've done inside the class is we have declared a an integer an int variable number of strings and given it assign it a value of zero. After that, um, I have created or I have um, set a constructor of our class guitar, and this is a constructor with a parameter with with a single parameter, which takes a parameter of type int, and now here we assign this value. So, so our instance variable gets the value from here. Okay, the point to note is the the methods that we have declared here with abstract keywords, and these are our these are our abstract methods: uh, set number of strings and get number of strings. And uh, we haven't um, we haven't put any braces. You can, as you can notice. So, so this this indicates that we are declaring a an abstract method in our in our abstract class guitar. And without these, I mean, if there are no abstract methods in our in our class, then this then our class wouldn't be called called an abstract class. So these method these abstract methods are what make any class an abstract class. We should at least have one or more uh, abstract methods in our in our would be abstract class so now let's go ahead and uh, see the the subclass that I've already created um, here and the name that I've given to that class is acoustic so and this extends our abstract class guitar. So now, since this this subclass, see, since this is a subclass of our abstract class, this class is responsible for 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 including the abstract met methods that we declared in in our guitar abstract class. To define them, to include those methods, and actually implement or define those methods. So what we've done simply over here is, you know, see we need to call the 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 constructor of our abstract class guitar, and it's required because the rule for the the for invoking constructor would be is um, if we do not have any if we do not define any constructor in our parent class um, 
without any 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 parameters or in other words if we do not have any constructors in our parent class that takes parameters then we don't actually need to call or invoke that constructor in our subclass but since we have a constructor with a parameter in our abstract class guitar we need to call we need to call that constructor in our constructor in our subclasses constructor so that's what we've done over here um, acoustic and and giving it the parameter and you know and super is the keyword that we've used to to indicate to refer our abstract class guitar so then 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 we are gonna do what is most important for for our subclass acoustic we're gonna go ahead and implement or define the methods set number of strings and get number of strings in this class so and again you can see we have used super and super over here to to refer to our parent class guitar and after that we're gonna go down to our main function or main method and create declare and create a, a, an object of our subclass acoustic and then we're gonna pass the value of six to our constructor and store as usual our reference to that object in our reference variable ATC I'm gonna display this number of number of strings in the in the acoustic guitar is then we call get number of strings um, method that we just defined from our object ADC so name then I'll show you the output okay okay here is here's the output So I compile my acoustic uh, subclass, then I run it using this Java keyword, and then this is going to be our output. Like number of strings in the acoustic guitar is six because we provided a value to be six right here. I mean, what happens if you? Do not define those abstract methods in our subclass acoustic. Um, if I go ahead and remove these these methods, in a way, I'm I'm ignoring those methods. Then, what it does is it's going to cause a compile error and we're going to see an error like this um so the, here here I am compiling my my subclass and this is the error acoustic is not abstract 
and and does not does not override abstract method get number of strings in guitar class acoustic extent guitar so so this is important so hope you understood what abstract class is through my tutorial I will see you in the next tutorial thank you